Hi guys, it's Ria and welcome to my channel. So let's get started. The first thing to do when you're bored is to paint your old phone cases. I have tons of old phone cases and today I will paint on these two cases. This one is one of those glittery cases which was the first case I purchased. I won't be able to play with those glitters after painting it. I am a child after all. But I guess that's fine. And this one seems very boring to me now and it badly needs some colors to make it look more interesting. So that's what we're gonna do today. So starting with the glittery case, I do not have a plan on what actually am I supposed to be doing. Like always. So coloring it black seems a pretty smart move to me while I think of something that I can do. And by the time I was done with the first coat, I was kinda hungry and was craving for some ice cream. So I thought why not just paint an ice cream? Maybe a shakalaka pencil can turn my drawing into an actual ice cream. Who knows? Now, I could only find a highlighter to draw the ice cream because nothing works on black. So don't try to guess on what am I trying to draw. Only I can see what am I drawing with that highlighter. It's a shakalaka pencil after all. Not everyone is allowed to see what am I wishing for. So after I'm done with the boundaries, I started the painting process. It took me more than one layer to get the desired opacity. Now, I didn't have ice cream flavors in mind while choosing the colors of the ice cream. I just painted whatever I thought would look cool. So I really don't know what flavor can that light blue color be. Maybe something like a blue moon ice cream? Who knows? The other two are definitely vanilla and strawberry. We can call them pink moon and white moon. Yeah, you can call them whatever you like. I'm just gonna go with the moon ice cream sundae. Or a sundae moon? Whatever, you name it. So now that that is done, let's move on to the other phone case. I worked on that off camera and now I'm painting on the unicorn. And 20 minutes later, I have something that looks like this. Also, the ice cream phone case has completely dried off by now. I must say I'm pretty satisfied with how they've turned out to be and they definitely look more interesting now. My personal favorite is this unicorn one. But there's one last thing to do which is to give it a varnish coat. I'm using the Liquitex gloss varnish which I bought from Michaels. I must say, adding a varnish coat definitely changes the overall look of the product. It gives a glossy shine and also protects the paint from wearing off. Easily spend 2 hours by painting on these phone cases. So the next time if you are getting bored, just take those old phone cases and turn them into something creative. This is the best way to kill your boredom. Now the next thing that I have is a wreck this journal. Now I didn't know about this journal until I saw it on Amazon. Basically this book is created to destroy. It has a prompt on every page which eventually leads to the destruction of this book. For example this page says press leaves and other found things. So you just have to collect some leaves and stick on it. This page says throw something. This is drip something here. And uh, it goes on and on, color outside the lines. Basically, it's a fun thing to do when you're stressed out or you're just bored and you need something to just destroy. This is the perfect place to start. The instructions are clear. Carry this with you everywhere you go. Follow instructions on every page. Order is not important. Instructions are open to interpretation and experiment. So I started with the first page which says add your own page numbers but as you know adding page numbers to every single page is pretty boring and the whole point of this video is to kill boredom and not to get more bored so I eventually ended up skipping this part. And moving on to the next page which says crack the spine which is pretty interesting. Now I don't usually do this with new books since I don't like to just destroy them. But who cares, this book is meant to be destroyed. So cracking the spine was actually pretty stress relieving for me and it killed most of my boredom. So I move on to the next page. I just took a random page from the book which says the pages for handprints or fingerprints. So let's get them dirty. Now this was pretty fun. It was like going back to my childhood and then just reliving those memories. But I would definitely recommend buying this book. It's on Amazon and it's a pretty good stress reliever. And the best part of this book is you don't even have to be an artist. 
because the worse it is the better it looks that is the whole point of this book anyways i do realize that i don't use orange very much it's kind of a neglected color for me so here it is the whole page filled with orange so now once i'm done with the fingerprint page i went back to the crack the spine page and just added a little bit of drawing to the left hand side of the page here's a flip through on what i've worked so far this is the crack the spine page that i was working on the next page that i worked on was this handprints page and moving on to the next part i worked on this page that says fold the page several times make cuts with scissors and then unfold and coincidentally i got this arrow thing which was totally not planned out so i taped that part on the other side of the page and i also drew some scissors just to make it look more interesting so now moving on to some other page i have a page for four letter words so i wrote down all the four letter words that i could possibly think of and drew thought bubbles around it to just create a thought illusion around it so yeah that was all that i worked on that day Moving on to our next idea which is to paint on pennies. Yes, you heard it right, paint on pennies. Let's do this. <clears throat> so I started with all the coins that I had in my wallet and this is my first time trying to paint on a penny or a small sized object to be more specific. So definitely I don't expect my first painting to be a masterpiece. And if you're expecting me to draw a Mona Lisa on this small coin, then I'm so sorry to say, but I am going to let down your expectations. So for my first trial, I had something that looks like a crappy looking tree. But for my second trial, I am going to try Van Gogh's Starry Night. And I went from a tree to Starry Night. All of a sudden, there was no in between. So I was kind of panicking right now. But soon I realized that I was really bad at adding details to tiny bits of coins. So I skipped over to landscapes and abstract paintings and things that don't require much details. But I soon realized that the US is kind of running low on coins right now. So I shouldn't be doing this because I should have actually used the money to fulfill its purpose, which is to buy stuff. But instead, here I am, painting on coins, which will be of no use after I'm done with all this. So, I ended up only using a few of these. And here's the final look of all of them. 